Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's uh, like it's your story, um, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So um, please keep in mind, this can go vice versa. I feel like uh, there's somebody here who's, who's just like sits and waits. So they're sitting and they're waiting. Um, there's a certain expectancy for the future because of something they've done. Because what we see in the imagery here is we have this woman, she's holding this rose and she dreams and longs. We have the, that card here, uh, dreams and longs for something in the future. But her eyes are are look. They're like they go back to the past. They're he looking this way, um, even though her body faces this way. Um, so she's feeling emotionally troubled at a real emotional low here, um, because of I feel something that happened in the past. And it's, it's like with the tree, well, oops, with the tree, that's the seeds we've sown. And, um, and so the seeds of the past, um, and so I feel like this person is reflecting on something they've done in the past. Um, and uh, in, in order to understand uh, or that they need to reflect on the past in order to understand how they got here. So in order to understand how they got here, they need to look behind them. And this will also offer them a solution and a way out of the circumstances that they're currently sitting in, which is the consequences of uh, a decision that they made in the past. I feel like this person had a victim mentality the eight of uh, eight of swords is appearing over here and i feel like uh this person may have had some difficult times or difficult relationships um uh a difficult life even when it comes to relationships um it because it feels like it could uh, it could be a repeating cycle. It feels like it's something that's easy to slip into. Um, I feel like uh, this person. I feel like this person has experienced something very chaotic in their life, and I feel like um, they've been avoiding to to look at it. And this thing, it has power over them because the devil's on top. So, um, this I think that there's that this is this is what is behind the choice they made in the past. It's that Eight of Swords devil energy, which is like a repeating cycle for them. It just keeps repeating and repeating because they're not dealing with it. So, uh, I mean, if they want it to stop and they want things to change, then they need to face these fears and uh, they need to deal with it. I feel like to one of you, it was very, very important that the relationship be open and loving okay and i feel like the other person because of their past they were closed up and so this created a lot of friction between you we see that they were closed up here and we see why with the next card this is somebody who doesn't feel good enough who doesn't feel that they deserve something Okay, and so you see that they're, they had, 
they were hiding their emotions they were closed up they were not uh sharing uh with their partner but yet the partner was doing everything to try to get them to open up but it just wasn't working this person had low self-esteem um lacking confidence in themselves didn't feel good enough and this is why this poverty card is here it's emotional poverty uh, they were feeling at an all-time low uh, the ten of swords is up here the eight of swords and the devil over here um, and so the ten of swords is about bringing this painful uh, period to an end for this person they're they're like out in the cold looking in and they want to get back in so bad um the hierophant is sitting next to it and uh, or lucifer in this case in this deck um this is about reflection okay looking back at the past seeing in this reflection on their past and on the decisions they made in the past that landed them here with with lucifer here it's like they now there's like a new awareness where they now see something in a different way whatever they were previously unaware of when they were here will come to light it gives it gives them uh, it gets revealed and it gives them insight uh, into the truth of of their situation and how they landed here and how to get out of it but you know that's going to require courage let's remember that it's easy to slip back into this energy because uh although they recognize it they still have to deal with it and and that could take time so uh the the point is that when they feel this coming they need to recognize where it's coming from to stop themselves from slipping back into that energy and eventually it's just going to get easier and easier i feel like this person has oh my god they see they recognize here look it's it's here they recognize here and here these cards here that there was a deeper issue that was hidden there was there was a, a cup because you know uh, this is the nine of cups there was one cup that was hidden behind the curtain under that table that they weren't letting anybody see and it was responsible uh for what landed them here here in this position but they find they find it you see with this page they found this new information and they've been wanting to write i want you to look at at him he's like writing and erasing and writing and erasing so they have been wanting to to write to you to message you to communicate to talk to you about this about this new a new awareness that they have about what they've learned they so that you know you can have this new beginning there was way too much left unsaid and undone between you and it just doesn't feel over And so uh, the Convenenza with the Hierophant and Justice. So the Convenenza is learning what you need to know. Um, it can also be about reconciliation, um, forgiveness. Um, and so, uh, you know, also... Uh, the um facing your fears i feel like this person is down on their knees and they're they're removing all the armor so they had all this armor on uh we we saw in these previous cards that 
they had all this armor on and now they are wanting to remove it okay well looking back through the past has helped them peel that armor off okay look look at the armor down on the ground and um, you can see it there the sword everything's there they don't want to fight they don't want to fight anymore the sword is down on the ground they want to they, they don't want to hide under that armor anymore they want to tell you what's in their heart they want to tell you they want to speak a truth look at justice here look at him okay i'm sorry i did it you know this other person there is very injured and they're wanting to know why why right the hand is wrapped up the head is wrapped up and the other guy's there okay i did it right and i'm sorry and this is why and so um, speaking a truth asking for forgiveness um uh, they this is somebody maybe they've had to learn the hard way you know but what's important is that they have learned and we see that here up here there they are on their knees again in this uh in this other image here asking for your forgiveness look at that and so look at the hierophant now the hierophant this this person is returning or thinking of returning to ask for your forgiveness getting gathering the courage to do this and look at the hierophant what he's doing he's crowning him this guy has learned what he needed to learn and now he's being rewarded he went down and he got to the root issue and he did that by looking at the past by willing to look at at all of those fears at 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 what they've been avoiding to do for such a long time and now they will finally uh work towards being free of that devil you know Wow, so see, oh yeah, look, 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 there you go. So there's, they're being crowned for this recognition of that, of having found out why they made the choices that they did. Look, 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 <laughs> on that nine of cups, this is another one, but it's showing that this is indeed about um, a choice that they made. And this is uh, that cup that was hidden, that was causing them to make these choices. So there's recognition of this of why they did it and that allows them to free themselves or begin at least the process of freeing themselves from the devil and moving towards happiness but let's remember that it is a process okay for this person yeah this uh, this is another indicator right here and then we have justice again. So this is another indicator um, um, that um, this was somebody who had a victim mentality, but that things, this says that things were not as they appeared. Um, it's why back here they couldn't see a solution. It was clouded by those emotions, you know. And so justice is about, you know, doing the right thing. It's about speaking the truth. It's about now uh, seeing or looking at something and seeing it, uh, seeing something more logically. Reasoning things out. Right now, currently, everything is up in the air, but they have everything they need they have all the tools at their disposal to uh to ground this and make it happen make it happen the way they want to to make this dream uh come true that we see here so this may have taken time okay because he's sitting on these thoughts he's sitting on these ideas okay but he will move because this night he perseveres he, he he pushes through okay so he'll finish what he started
he's cautious, that's for sure, with Prudence here and him here. So he's cautious and he, uh, and, and this is still uh, residual energy from the Eight of Swords and the Devil, you know, because it, it still has some power over him, that's for sure, when it comes to love and relationships, you know. It still has that power over them. But this is a choice to face him down, you know, and move towards his happiness and recognize where those feelings come from when he starts to feel them. Then he can quickly nip them in the bud and and prevent them from causing, you know, all of this chaos and damage that, that we see currently that has happened. So the attraction is still here. There, this person, both of these cards speak to uh, an attraction. This can also speak to uh, them having figured out or solved a mystery. And there is regret over what they have lost because, you know, because of this. Um, but they have learned uh, this person and they are going to come forward. This card is a card that indicates after a pause or a break that uh, movement is seen. So this is going to happen and I feel it happens very soon. So, um, because I feel like it's already been stalled or delayed. It's already been uh, time, like there's already been a lot of time that has passed. For everyone, it's going to be different. It's depending depending where where you are in this energy. You know, if this has just begun, then you may have to wait some time. But if you've already been waiting some time, then I feel like you will hear uh, uh, very soon from your person. Um, possibly uh, Pisces. Uh, Pisces can indicate a timing, uh, I feel, um, late winter, possibly, uh, that this, uh, this period here could end, okay, and that this new beginning will start. So... Yeah, late winter, early New Year's, uh, in that in that time frame, I would think. You may uh, you may hear from them before that, um, but the actual reconciliation would happen more towards the end of the year or the beginning of the new year for whoever this is. This is, this, it's, it's what I'm getting. So, you know, I wish I could make it happen for you now, but I have to give you, uh, uh, what I'm, what I'm picking up here. Okay. So that is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.